Hello and welcome to some Mac action. I'm your host for Lamps.com, Matthew Amato, joined here by Jacob Wayne, Patrick Modin, and Jason Gilbos, finally back from vacation, so you can stop begging for his presence in the comment section below. We got Eastern Michigan at Akron on this beautiful Tuesday. I think it's the 8th of November. Sorry, didn't have my date set up there, but we're going to roll with this intro anyway. Eastern Michigan favored by 7.5 points against Akron. That has been... Struggling significantly on both sides of the ball. Jacob, I'll kick things off with you. Do you think Eastern Michigan covers this, you know, multiple touchdown spread? I guess touchdown plus field goal, touchdown plus safety. Yeah, I'm going to go on Akron here, plus seven and a half at home. Um, they've had a rough season, obviously, but, you know, they've been in most of these games. And their quarterback, DJ Irons, is sneaky really good. Uh, averaging the 26th most passing yards per game this year. Uh, a couple of good receivers in Shockey Jack Louise and Dana George, two power five transfers who have helped them out a ton. Um, and if you look at the splits from a clean pocket and under pressure, there's a drastic difference. Uh, Eastern Michigan hasn't generated enough consistent pressure this season. They rank just 110th in sack rate. They have this guy, Jose Ramirez, who's a potential future NFL player. But outside of him, they just really don't have much up front to worry about um and they really struggled against the run so i think dj irons will get some stuff done on the ground as well um you look at this eastern offense uh you know nothing really crazy to be too excited about taylor powell returned from an injury and had his worst game of the season against toledo last week just a 52 percent completion rate two turnover where they play is no big time throws last year's top two quarterbacks have transferred out obviously ben bryant who's now in cincinnati um but this eastern offense has really just not been very good and they beat, uh, sorry, they lost to Toledo. Uh, very close game against Toledo last time out, but Toledo was without their starting quarterback, Daquan Finn, and they still outgained Eastern by almost, or sorry, over 100 yards. So I think overall this Eastern team is a tad overrated, and I, I like getting the full touchdown and a half point uh, with Akron at home. Patrick? Yeah, to brush off the dossier on this one, been uh, compiling data on Eastern Michigan versus Akron since March Madness ended, so... Glad the day's finally here, kind of like my Christmas Eve, but uh, I am on, on Eastern Michigan for the moment. I do get the logic for Akron. I know Jason and, and Jake will be letting all the people know about the Zips here. It's, it's a lot of points to hang on a, on a poor offense, but I, I do think Eastern Michigan will be able to run the ball here. I know Jacob mentioned that their offense is nothing to call home about. It really isn't, but their offensive line has been able to get a pretty consistent push, 31st in the FBS and in line yards right now. That matches up with an Akron team that is 76 and line yards allowed and gives up nearly five yards of rush. So I think Eastern Michigan is positioned to move the ball on the ground a little bit here. And Akron is also a pretty paradoxical team offensively in that because they can't run the ball themselves, they're one of the most pass-heavy offenses in college football. But they also have one of the worst pass-blocking offensive lines. Their quarterback gets sacked on nearly 10% of dropbacks. So I do think Eastern Michigan gets, gets some pressure. I know like their defensive line in and of itself isn't all that impressive either, but it is better than what this Akron offensive line has been. So I think they can get some pressure. I think they'll be able to move the ball in the ground game. Um, and Eastern Michigan has also had some bad turnover luck on the season that I think is, is point for some positive regression against an Akron team that has struggled to turn the ball over with teams. So I like Eastern Michigan here. It's not my favorite bet. It's going to be a smaller unit play, but I'm excited for it. And Jason, Mr. Gilbo, what says you? Yeah, I went back and forth this on them quite a bit, and Patrick can attest to it because we were on call during this. And I just, for everything I tried to figure out, a way to bet Eastern Michigan, I just couldn't. It just there was just wasn't enough movement that I could go. Oh, they have a justifiable edge here. Um, you know, Eastern Michigan, you know, should be able to run the ball here against the Zachary team, but they're averaging two point nine yards per carry in, in MAC play this year. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like I don't know if they're going to be good enough to take advantage of some of the mismatches that they could have on paper. Um, and with that being said, I, I think overall Akron's passing offense is do for a little bit more of a positive regression in terms of actually putting up points because they're completing passes like they are moving the ball. It's at a smaller rate of play, which I actually do like because if they can control this clock a little bit and kind of gain some first, first downs, they'll be able to eat away a little bit. And I think where over a touchdown spread is going to be tough to cover if they don't turn the ball over and just can keep those drives going a bit. And Eastern Michigan's defense, especially in the secondary, isn't really anything to bat, write home about. So for me, there just really isn't enough here for me to feel comfortable betting Eastern Michigan over a touchdown. Um, if it was under touchdown, you maybe think a little bit differently. But at home, Akron, in a spot where 
they've played some close games lately. Uh, I'm with Patrick in terms of being a smaller unit play, but I, I think overall the home team here at seven and a half is just a little bit too much points. Yeah, so I, I I'm very much in the same boat as Jason. I went back and forth. I wanted to bet Eastern Michigan coming into this game, then saw some stats like. Akron, the one part, the one unit on this entire team that has, like, respectable EPA stats is their rush defense, where it's kind of middle of the road, you know, slightly worse than an average team in the nation. And Eastern Michigan kind of needs to run the football, in my opinion, to win football games. And I still think that unit, Eastern Michigan's run unit versus Akron's defense, wins out, especially due to the... uh. Line yards allowed and line yards for stats that Patrick brought up. However, it's just too big of a spread. Like, it's an either bet Eastern Michigan or nothing for me in this situation. And because it's at over 7.5, it's a nothing for me. I I want to bet Eastern Michigan at, like, maybe 3.5, 4.5. But, like, over a touchdown is just not happening. I think if you are going to do a teaser, like a midweek teaser, you're having some fun. This is a very nice leg, like... I, you probably could go either way, but I'll take Eastern Michigan minus one and a half as one of my teaser leagues. I would be perfectly happy with that. I think there's very little chance they lose this game. Akron is just so terrible on all sides of the football that it's going to take them getting some turnover luck uh, again and kind of going with the theme of Eastern Michigan season for Akron to, uh, Akron to be able to upset, and I just don't see it happening. So no yeah, bet I for me be, at this line. I wouldn't be shocked if Akron wins this game, I'm going to be honest. Um, we saw a couple of huge underdogs win outright last week in the Mac and you never know what's going to happen with these games. I, I, I'm not teasing a Mac game personally. Um, but if you look at some of their losses, like they haven't been crazy margins in these games. They lost to central Michigan by seven points, Kent State by, by six points, Bowling Green by three points, even lost to Liberty by nine points, who was ranked for a good portion of the season, just beat Arkansas. Um, this our Zachary team has been hanging around and, you know, they hired Joe Moorhead to turn the program around. It's been a rough year, taking some time. But this is kind of their opportunity to get their first conference win at home on national TV on this matching spot. And I think they're going to be fired up for it, honestly. Uh, both teams are coming off the bye week. I think they're going to be very prepared for this game. But there are just some positional advantages where I like Akron. And I think they have the better quarterback at home as well. So I think they have a good shot to pull off the upset, frankly. All right. Well, Jacob said it. 10-unit play on the money line for Jacob. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Patrick, would you like to uh, rebuttal as someone actually taking a stand on Lake Chase Center? <laughs> yeah, not a strong stand. I guess my only rebuttal would be the seven and a half. I almost feel like it's kind of bait you to take Akron in the spot at home. So I, I, I think Eastern Michigan should be able to run the ball here, and I just, I really don't trust anything about this Akron offense right now. Where I do think their quarterbacks decent, him, but they have not been able to protect him at all this season. I think that's a serious problem. And I think, like, they themselves have struggled to run the ball. I think if you can't get the ground game going at home, that is also a rough a rough position in these midweek games. So, I, you know, I, I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert on Eastern Michigan and Akron football right now. Like, it is going to be a small unit play. I'm looking at the matchups here. But, like, yeah, that, my, my rebuttal would more so be, like, I, I kind of thought I'm being baited by the 7.5. I like it. You're playing the, uh, the Vegas card on this one. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up. We've talked enough about Eastern Michigan and Akron for one day. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets. Jacob is taking Akron plus 7.5 at minus 110. Patrick leaning Eastern Michigan minus 7.5. And, and Jason and I are sitting back and not placing money on this game. If you have not, you can click subs subscribe and see more videos like this. You can also check out our channel to see more Mac, college football, and NFL videos. We also cover the NBA. And you can also check out lamps.com to find great articles on pretty much every midweek game. We try and cover as many as we can. And you can find nice matchup previews in a RIN format there. All right, we'll see you for the next one very soon.